Howdy. Today I would like to announce a new stream. Half Bread Chaos presents Twitch Plays Undertale. What? Mystic Slime already did one? Oh, yes. So he did. There's just one problem. He went easy on you. Making auto save checkpoints, walking you past puzzles, skipping the mad dummy and hacking in the Temi armor. Bah. Back in my day, we spent 24 straight hours trying to walk past a single non-puzzle ledge, and we liked it that way. The original Twitch Plays Pokemon was painful and tedious, but that raw chaos gave birth to some of the best moments, memes, and stories in gaming history. We wasted so much time accidentally staring at the useless Helix fossil in our inventory, we spawned an entire religion around praying to Lord Helix. Seeing the wildly elaborate strategies for coordination and the resulting stories they created was one of my favorite moments in video game history and I want to know what the Undertale community would do if we really, truly, let go of the wheel and just ride the wave of souls to see where they take us. Like earlier this week, I ran a test stream of this using Undertale's unused debug rooms and that chat spent so much time struggling against this puzzle and wandering around in the void that they started writing poetry. Look at this. There is a comfort in knowing that nothing we do matters. The emptiness and silence that oblivion brings is a beauty like no other. Place yourself in the remains of a city, half overgrown after a war with no clear winner. The silence is deafening, yet holds a peace you may not find anywhere else. What remains of us when age returns us to the dust from which we were born? Just that. Dust? Just the gentle caress of nothingness is tempting. The wind itself could scatter you into nothingness. As comforting as the thought may be, the thought of living a meaningless existence is but a dream. Death is not the end. For I am death and I am the scattering. All things must meet their end, even the end itself. Where emptiness once was, sprang forth but one thing. A burning feeling deep in the darkest part of the void, describable with but one word. Determination. And then they beat the conveyor belt puzzle. Holy Kungadero? This all happened in a single day with six unfinished rooms. Can you imagine what this community will do with the full game? What fascinating pieces of art and intricate convoluted stories will they weave to explain their inscrutable choices? I have no idea, and I need to find out. But I will admit, I'm not as cool as Mystic Slime. I don't have the strength or soul power to provide constant conversation and entertainment to a live audience for days at a time. So, I'm going to be making some rather massive changes to this setup to compensate. First, I will not be interfering with the game at all. You will be on your own. I will provide a special temporary Discord server to assist in coordination, as well as provide occasional commentary or software updates to the console. But short of the game crashing or save file corruption, I will not be touching the game itself at all. However, unlike Mystic Slime's console, my console will give you, my viewers, more precise control. Allow me to demonstrate. First is Chaos Mode. All the typical commands are here, saying up, left, right, down, Z, X, or C will input those commands into the game, no fuss, no muss. It doesn't care about capitalization or wording, so even if you say, go right, or just draw a little arrow, the game should be able to take the input and do it as long as you don't use wing. <laughs> you can move diagonally or press multiple buttons at once by saying the two commands simultaneously. For example, up and left, or go left up will walk the character diagonally up and to the left. You can also more finely control how long each button is held down for by putting a number somewhere in the command. So, go down right for 9, we'll press and hold the down and right buttons together for 9 seconds. The maximum time here is 9 seconds, and the minimum time is 1 one hundredth of a second. This will give users more freedom to precisely control Frisk without waiting for a mod to adjust the action time. However, it can only handle one sig fig, that is, one non-zero number per command. So, up 1 will hold up for 1 second. Up 0.5 will hold up for a half a second, but up 1.5 will only hold it for one second, because I wasn't going to sit there and write out like a thousand numbers, okay? So if you want to walk for exactly 3.3.5 seconds, you're gonna have to learn to coordinate. 
You can also switch to the classic Twitch Plays Pokemon Democracy Mode by saying Order to vote for Order Mode or Chaos to switch back. In Order Mode, instead of performing each input individually, they will be tallied up in a vote that lasts for as long as the input timer is running. Don't worry about learning a whole new set of commands, though, because Order Mode is set to use the same format as Chaos Mode. Order Mode actually lets you vote, not just on the command to be given, but also the time frame, as any number rounded to the first decimal will be tallied up for the vote. So, if the majority of people say, write 0.5, then Frisk will walk to the right for half a second, and the next voting period will also last half a second. If you find that democracy mode feels a bit too much like anarchy mode, you can fix this by just putting a larger number in your message, like 5 or 6, to increase the voting period. So the potential for abuse here should be low. There are also a few commands that are only available while in democracy mode and only while the voting period is quite high such as the escape command. The game has been modded so that escape will kick you back to the main menu instead of closing the game. So if the chat is really, truly stuck and wants to reset, or if the chat unanimously decides they want to undo a mistake they've made, there is a mechanism for you to make that choice together. Because again, I will not be controlling what happens in the game, you will. That said, I will need to take the stream down periodically so I can do summary and recap videos or perform maintenance. I will also be stopping by for occasional commentary, or maybe to host a surprise guest or two. But besides that, you control how this unfolds, and how long it runs for. If all goes well, the stream should start on Saturday the 17th, 2023, at 1 p.m. Eastern, at twitch.tv slash halfbreadchaos. Now, show me your determination and the will of your souls, Lightners. Oh my god, they beat Sans.